Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival. Yeah. Um. Oh, whoopsies. Need to be in the light version. There we go. Um. This series has hit a road bump, or two, or 10,000. Um, I loaded the world in 1.8, so if we go and check in here. We can sleep first. Okay, that looks right. <laughs> Not. Basically, I loaded the world in 1.8, and if you do that, it leaks everything. Yay. So I did some caving off camera, and I got some stuff to try and save the series. Yeah. Um. I don't know, though. Um, this video is going to be recorded in 30 frames a second. It's going to be uploaded in 30 frames a second. Because I'm going to try shaders, and I can't uh, manage to maintain 60 FPS with shaders. But yeah, I'm using the light version because all the other versions don't work with the mod. Uh, we'll probably run out of memory, too. Minecraft's been really weird lately, and I've been running out of memory even though I have 16 gigabytes on my computer. I try to allocate more memory to the game, and it doesn't do it. I have 64 bits of version of Java, but you know what? Things just don't go your way in life. So that's that. Um, everything's screwed. <laughs> uh, there's not much that we haven't built, except for the town. And, oh look, a skelly, that's cool, not. Uh, I guess we're gonna do that. Um, I guess the tractor doesn't have any coal, so we're gonna cheat. I, um, I had to cheat back in a tractor, because remember we had trouble with that. We're just going to spawn in some coal, because that's not fair if we had coal. Let's just do a little bit more. There we go, now we got some tractor fuel, this thing will be cooking it. Um, so yeah, that's where we are in the series right now. It's kind of eh, but you know what? You all have been complaining, so if I cheat and it makes you mad, I'm sorry. But if you want the series to continue, guess what? Oh, oh, you need a wrench. I think I can make a wrench, isn't it? Just like this. Oh, that's shears. Um, but yeah, so if y'all want the series to continue, that's what we're gonna have to do. Um, so there it is. Deal with it. <laughs> hey, at least I'm getting an episode out, right? I mean, I've been uploading a lot. I've got a Tornado Chasers out already for Cookie and Nate. I have a Euro Truck Simulator 2 video out with Christmassy stuff. I'm doing that Christmas series with Elrius. I'm doing some stuff. Don't you worry about it. Um, yeah, so let's go upstairs here. I guess what we're going to do today is we're just going to harvest. I'm just not even going to worry about organization right now. I'm so done with this game. It's just not even funny. Okay, yeah, there we go. No, my luck will run out of tractor fuel. Ah. I keep watching that because I know it's going to run out and I know I'm going to cry. Please don't go in water. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to harvest this. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, everything's broke, though. It's just, that's just how it is. That's just the way that it is. Whoa. That's just the way that we live. I can't sing that song because I'm so good of a singer that I'll match the guy that wrote the song. Then I'll get copyrighted, so. Can't do that. Yep, let's just collect all the seeds we dropped. Seeds are the most important part of this. We're gonna go put this up. But yeah, like I was saying, the series is on life support. I just wanna... I'm just gonna get this stupid town built. I'm gonna end this season off. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna put effort into it. I mean, it's just... If this, had, if this hadn't happened, yeah, the series still would've gone. But when stuff like this happens, it is so discouraging. It's... I don't know. Your creativity is just gone after something like this happens. Um, yeah. So that's, that's where we stand right now in the series. 
I'm just gonna harvest this thing the whole episode and you're gonna have to deal with it. We might get a storm, we might not. That's yeah, on one day, so haven't changed anything. Storms will probably spawn. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the shaders too. That's just something different I thought I'd try. Nate taught me how to use shaders with this mod so it's not too terribly looking. Um, I've also got a project in the two several projects in the works. Um, just because Tornado Survival's um, creativity died down does not mean the channel's creativity died down. I've got more stuff in the works than ever right now. And you've already seen examples of that with my series with Elrius. Got Tornado Chaser, got Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm doing some whoa, this is wavy. That's so weird. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've got stuff in the works here. It's this, my channel's not dying. I'm gonna upload and upload and upload until you all don't want me to upload anymore. Uh, man, this field is great. We just gotta keep working with it. And my Google tabs just reopened. And I didn't open them. So my game will probably crash soon, right? I don't know, there's some weird crap going on with my computer right now. I just got a Skype notification. That's great. <laughs> who know who else knows what'll happen here? What what other stuff do I have open that could ruin this? Oh look at this. A spinny thing. That's a good sign. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on with my computer right now to be honest with you. I'm trying. I'm just trying, man. There's so many setbacks in life that just suck. <laughs> trying to slowly get it to the point where we just have enough. Don't want to over collect. Let's do it. Yep, over collected. GG. Okay, so let's just drop this off. Oh, the swirly notification thing's gone. That's cool. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, winter break's coming up too, and that makes things a lot easier to record and get out. So that's true. Like right now, I'm still in school. I've got finals coming up. This channel is about to hit a speed bump, man. I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna die. I right, finals suck. If you get to high school, finals suck, okay? If you get to high school. <laughs> All of you are probably not going to make it to high school. Just saying. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, finals are just the worst. I hate finals. We've got one in every class, pretty much. Which makes me cry tears. Real tears. Because I hate finals. It's like, oh, your grades were great all year long? Well... Time to test the that grade percentage and prove you wrong. Yeah. Did you enjoy your life? Well, it's not going to be enjoyable after finals week. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much how it feels. I know a lot of you are not in high school and cannot relate to that at all. So, whatever. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's just go drop some more stuff off. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about the shaders, though. I mean, it looks pretty good, right? Shadows and stuff. And it's not, like, too drastic of a change, either. So, like, if you hate shaders, it's hard to hate this version because it's really just adding shadows or shades. Well, <laughs> like, there's not much difference other than the shadow change. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What else is there to talk about with y'all? I guess we could tell a story. Story time! Uh, what story do I want to tell? I have plenty of stories I can tell. Let's tell the story of the ugly barnacle. <laughs> there once was a barnacle who was so ugly, everybody died. The end. No, it's off as funny, but still. Well, I'll tell the story about my birthday party. It happened back in October. So pretty much, I had a birthday party. 
I invited all my friends over, and believe me, I have friends. I could probably prove it if I had to. Or I could, you know, let them fake be my friends if I had. No. <laughs> but I invited all my friends over to a place, and we own some property. It's about 30 acres. And basically, it's got a barn, a camper, about an acre, two acres of um, just absolute not woods. A quarter acre of a pond, and then, oh, let's just go and park this, and sleep. a quarter acre of a pond, and then the rest is just woods, and when I mean woods, I don't mean like a flat little play around place, this thing's got hollers, and it's basically on, it's the side of a knob going up and all, and yeah, so, it's really hilly, and there's lots of deep crevices and stuff and all that, ravines. Y'all know what that term means, sadly. Um, but yeah, so... That's the place in detail, if you want to imagine it in your mind. I don't know, our teacher tells... Oh my god, I hate being... hate listening to teachers and stuff like that. But our teacher tells us you need to imagine the story. can't believe I'm actually listening to something like that. But anyways... Um, so yeah. We played... We played this game called infected or basically one guy's infected and everybody else runs from the infected dude for their lives um we'd already played a few games a few of us are better than the other i'm probably the worst because basically i'm 110 pounds six foot tall i have a lot going against me because i'm not very strong <laughs> And I'm trying to tackle these other people that could be up to 160 pounds that are way stronger than I am. So when I got chosen to be infected, it's like, oh, that's not good. I There's no way I'm going to be able to tackle anybody. Um, so, uh, basically, here's what happened. Um, they all st I, I count down, they all run away. And then I have to go tackle them. And it's kind of like football rules. If your knee or elbow touches the ground, you're out. Or if... No, yeah, it's just that. Knee or elbow touches the ground, you're out. Or if you're, like, late. If you get laid out on your butt, then you're freaking out, too, of course. So those were the rules of the game. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to tackle one of these others. Because if I'm... If I'm if one of them's not as strong as me, they're still pretty much faster. And we're all in pretty good shape. Like, none of us are fat or anywhere near fat. We are in pretty good shape. All of us play sports. Um, all of us know the woods pretty well. And basically, everyone had their strengths. And my strengths didn't really help me when it came to being infected. My strengths helped me to get away from the infected. <laughs> um... So I was stuck here like, how am I going to tackle these fools? So it's turning night at, during the time that I was infected. Um, I don't know, probably an hour until pitch dark. Maybe not even an hour. Yeah, I'd say half an hour, an hour until pitch dark. And I was like, okay, great. That probably will help me. And basically, so I went a long time because basically they were, they were in a pack. And I don't know if you know this or not, but there's always safety in numbers. So I'm here like, oh great, they're together. There's no way I'm going to be able to single one of these fools out and get them on the ground. <laughs> so, number one, they were in a pack. And number two, they had a spot cho chosen that was basically, if they needed to, they had the best way possible heading away from us, right? Oh, look, there's a hailstorm over there. Heading away from us. This one is too, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but basically, they had chosen a spot to where it was near the pond. It was uh, to the left of the dam. And there was a wide open area there to where basically they could shine their lights. There was a little bit of patched wood, but they had plenty of escape routes and plenty of ways to get away from me if they, if I came up to them. So it turned into a waiting game of can I get these fools to move from this area. And, well, they eventually did. 
because they started, you know what, well, if he's not going to come to us, let's just go looking for him. So then they started moving around, and I basically snuck back to where their position was, and I stood there. And then I figured they decided, hey, let's just go back to that area. And so, I mean, this has already been about half an hour. It was getting pretty much dark, if not completely dark at this point. And I was two trails meet together and I was in a thicket next to the trail hiding and I have a ghillie suit which really helped me out and I was hiding right there and basically to make it even worse the spot I was in was not perfect I mean they've still got flashlights they were shining me out it's like a prisoner running away they're looking for him they know he can be dangerous they know what he can do but they still gotta find him to know that they're safe and basically if they, once they ran up upon me, all they had, to, all they had to do was shine a light on me, and basically, I was busted because I mean, honestly, yeah, it's a ghillie suit, but I'm not completely blended in. It's just got some leaves on it, that hinder me completely. Obvious. It's not like I was wearing a bright pink shirt, but it basically camouflage. God, that's laggy. You idiot dog. Look, their name tags are gone now. Man, I'm getting laggy here. But yeah, so... The trails meet. I was in the thicket there, but I was still able to be seen. And, you know, my luck. The guy that was leading is the strongest guy. <laughs> And basically, I, they were shining, the moment he's, he came around the corner and he's like shining every place, he's got a ghillie suit on, it'll be hard to see, check every speck of dirt, we will not want to lose him. And right as he said that, I jumped out of the thicket, and uh, I didn't realize it yet, but I was like, oh crap, that's the strongest dude, there's no way I'm getting him down. And of course, I probably had my arms around his neck for like two seconds maybe and he slammed me to the ground and they all ran away <laughs> so that was the first encounter I had with them of me trying to um trying to get them and then after that they basically I chased them a little bit they just they outran me they were still in the pack so oh look a tornado let's go chase them with this thing <laughs> Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? That's nice. pretty close. Here, let's make it look like it's closer than it is. Yeah. So basically, after they did this, we'll do some tornado chasing here, and I'll probably do the rest off camera and just end off the episode after this. But after they did this, they all went and they all met up in the wide open land there that was there and basically as you can probably think oh great so they've got flashlights oh it's an F1 they've got flashlights they're in a wide open area and basically these flashlights are mag lights they're LED mag lights and these things these suckers can spot a freaking chameleon from 70 yards out that's how that's how good these flashlights were so I s definitely did not have anything going in my way here look at the sun but yeah so they had basically moved to the least helpful point for me and I was like crap and they shot in up all three trails so I was stuck, right? I couldn't, there was like, I was like, there's no way doing this. So, basically what they were doing, they were shining up onto the trails, trying to spot me out, and, oh, that sucks. That's stuck now. And my only chance here, I was like, oh my god, this is so laggy. Oh yeah, look at it, it's just tearing up that side there. So, 
So yeah, um... Oh yeah, that was good. I don't know, shaders are a little laggy. I can't allocate more memory to Minecraft, so... What is this tornado? Jesus. So, basically what I did is, the trails all lead up to the knob one way or another. And they were shining the light right up the trails. So I had to find a way to sneak around them. And that's what I had to do. So, basically I climbed up the knob and then came back down the knob to one of the trails and this trail basically goes around the other side. Jesus, this is so an F5. This is so an F5. Let me look. <laughs> I'm sorry for cheating, but you know what? This is so an F5. F4. It's a growing F4. Um, so yeah, like I said, my only chance was to go up the knob and then come back down the knob. Oh, it's a weakening F4 now. So that's what I did. <laughs> I went up the knob and I came around the back side. So. At this point, it'd probably been an hour, maybe an hour and a half, since I was, um, I was coming, you know, since I'd been trying to get one of them suckers. Okay, this is night chasing, and night chasing is not a very good thing to do, so we are going to abandon ship. Especially with shaders. Let's look at this sucker with no shaders. doing some major damage fools. Luckily not to us. Alright, yeah, let's go back to the house. So, like I said, I came down the, mo the knob, and at this point, they were tired of waiting. They were like, this is stupid. He's never gonna get us. Let's just, we just keep shining up in the trails. There's no way he'll become, he'll come down those trails. There's no way you can get us, because we've got the... We're in plain sight here. We'll be able to spot them before you can get to us. So they're just sitting here with their strategy of... Yeah, we, we've basically won at this point. And, you know, teenage boys, they're sitting on the ground. Talking, talking, in the dark. And they get to the conversational point of ghost, paranormal activity. So they're on edge. <laughs> <laughs> works out in my favor for once here. They're on edge talking about ghosts and crap. And ah, crap. And I come down the knob side and basically I go around the, they're in front of the barn. I go around the barn the other way. Let's say the barn is let's say the barn is right here. They would be sitting right there. The trail comes from down here. I go around the trail, around the barn. And they're sitting down here. And the strongest one of them all is sitting with his elbows on the ground. And he's on edge and all. So I basically, I'm like, alright. If I'm going to do this, I should just go ahead and attack the strongest one. Because he'll be able to go get him and my job will be done. I'll basically win the game. The strongest one will be able to go after him. He'll be able to win the game. So, he's sitting on the ground in perfect position for me. <laughs> I go around the corner. I leap at him. <laughs> slam him to the ground. They all scream, run away. And, thankfully he was there. So, I tackled him. And, I was able to win that game. By him laying on the ground for me. I still would have been able to do it even if he had just been sitting on the ground. Because... I mean, whenever I did it, I was done. I was like, yeah, this is my only chance right here. I've walked around 
everywhere on these in this woods I'm tired it's like 11 o'clock I was putting all my power into tackling this dude into the dirt so you know I was able to win the game alright well that's gonna be it for this episode like comment, subscribe if you enjoyed um, I got an episode out you happy you happy you foes um, we had an F4 tornado you foes Still an F4 tornado. Yeah, I'm last gonna do it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you all in the next one. Bye! I'm blazing!